Have a nice day, dear friends. I'm happy to be with you and Father George, and I want to share today's gospel taken from John 8, 31 to 42. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say, You will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always remains. So if a son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence, then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We are not illegitimate. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lords. Today, the Lord directs harsh words to the Jews, not to some Jews, but precisely to those who embraced the, embraced the faith. Jesus said to those Jews who believe in him. This dialogue of, of Jesus reflects, without any doubt, the beginning of those difficulties caused by the Jewish Christians in the first hours of the church. As they were descendants of Abraham, according to their kinship, such Jesus' disciples considered themselves superior not only to Gentiles who live away from the faith, but also better than any non-Jewish disciples of the same faith. They said, We are descendants of Abraham. Our father is Abraham. We have one father, God. Despite being disciples of Jesus, we have the impression that Jesus meant nothing for them, nothing that could improve whom they already owned. But it is there where they all made a big mistake. Two sons are not those by physical descent, but the heirs of the promise, that is, the who believe. Without faith in Jesus, it is not possible for anyone to reach Abraham's promise. That being so, among the disciples, there is neither Jews nor Greeks, neither slave nor free, nor is there man and woman, for they are all brothers because of baptism. Let us now be seducted by spiritual pride. Jewish considered it themselves superior to other Christians. It is not necessary to speak here of separated brethren, but let us rather think of us. How often some Catholics consider themselves better than other Catholics just because they follow this or that movement, or because they observe this or that discipline, they abide by this or to that liturgical trend. Some because they are rich, others because they study more, some because they hold important positions, others because they come from noble families. I would like that each one should feel the joy of being Christians. God guides his church. He sustains it always, especially at times of difficulty, like says Benedict XVI. I hope we are all friends, brothers, because we are all sons of God. I hope we live with Son of God. How? Living in love, because love 
give value to life.